Hello. Today, I would like to speak with you about Mortimer J. Adler and his educational philosophy. Adler was born of Jewish German immigrants in New York City in 1902. At the age of 14, he was unsatisfied with his high school education, and so he dropped out to pursue journalism at the New York Sun newspaper. But later, he realized that he needed to improve his writing if he was to further his career. And so he ended up taking night classes at Columbia University. And by doing so, he stumbled upon the philosophies of John Locke and Aristotle, among others. And he fell in love with those philosophical traditions. This would be the seed that would germinate into his perennial philosophy. In 1982, he wrote the Padea Proposal, which was a perennialist education reform paper. His perennial philosophy centered around the Aristotelian and Thomistic traditions in which they believe that education is ideally established on enduring and universal characteristics of human nature. They believe that humans are defined by rationality. Humans are symbolic and expressive language users. Humans are directed by truths and values, and they are intellectually enabled to frame on alternative choices. The Padea proposal was the center of uh, Adler's educational philosophy. It centered around three pillars, didactic instruction, which was to be 10 to 15% of what the teacher would do in the classroom. It was lecturing and developing the student's objective knowledge. The main thrust of the Padilla proposal was the coaching, which would be about 60 to 70% of what the teacher would do in the classroom. And this was the development of students' intellectual skills through practice and sharpening those skills in performance-based tasks. Then the third pillar of his Padilla proposal was the seminar. And in the seminar, it was basically modeled around the Socratic method. And they would discuss great books with open-ended questions. And the students would develop their critical thinking skills. Basically, the Padilla proposal believed that the best education for the best in society is the best education for all students. It was a school reform movement away from pragmatic education and move, moving back towards a liberal arts education. They believed that every student should have access to high quality education to achieve moral and spiritual growth in their character. And this would also help them improve their civic virtues and responsibilities to live in a democratic society. And ultimately, the, school, the skills and the knowledge that they were learning in school would help them in their employment and their, in their careers in the future. The educational impact of Adler's ideas. First, they were slow to be accepted in many, in many places in an educational climate heavily influenced by Dewey's pragmatism. One critic stated that Adler's manifesto should only be read as a curious artifact of perennialist notions. However, the Padilla proposal and the vision started to take hold in some places, and it was considered a vision that seemed meaningful, democratic, and realistic to some. In one such place was the Chattanooga School for Arts and Sciences, in which it was established in 1984. The curriculum appealed to so many parents, 800 applied for 400 openings. The records at the time suggested that the urban students were prepared for were product, productive futures. 90% of those students from two graduating classes of 100 students attended, ended up attending public or private four-year colleges. The average daily attendance was 97%, the highest of the district. Padilla education has shown continuous growth 
with more than 100 partner schools. The educational impact of PDEA um, project was so great for some students. I would like to show a little clip of how it has impacted some of the students. This is one such project in which the students uh, spent some time with homeless. What did I learn? I don't think I can put words on that. Um, I learned gratitude for what I have, sympathy, um, understanding of like what they're going through. I learned so much. I can't even put words on it. So as we can see, Adler's proposal had a great impact on many students. These young people develop clear ideas of how to behave in society and how to have sympathy for homeless people. In a nutshell, I believe that Adler's ideas have had a great impact on society and they will continue to do so. Thank you for listening.